Hey everyone, uh, welcome to our Puzzle Solver series where we highlight Cloud Factory clients who are uh, using AI to disrupt, uh, to disrupt their industries. Uh, my name is Courtney Wilson, I'm Director of Marketing at Cloud Factory, and I'm excited to be joined by uh, Andy Abbott and Chris Kosh from uh, Heretic. And Heretic is a, a Cloud Factory client that is disrupting the legal space uh, by, by applying AI and efficient workflows to the contract review process, uh, which is super interesting. Andy, uh, Andy is the co-founder and CTO, and Chris is uh, Director of Customer Success. So, gentlemen, uh, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having us. So, Andy, I'm going to start with you. Uh, just curious kind of where the idea for uh, Heretic uh, came from. Yeah, so we had a uh, previous um, startup, and we're fortunate enough to go through an acquisition with that startup. And during the due diligence process, we really uh, um, discovered how difficult it is to kind of go through a big, um, large amounts of contracts. And so uh, once that transaction went through, we were kind of looking for something to do next and um, just continue to go back to this kind of due diligence um, contract kind of uh, problem. Uh, started talking to some uh, um, known people in the industry here in Chicago that we had uh, in our network and really kind of dove into the problems with customers and to see if it actually was something that was uh, experienced by more than just small startups, um, if you know, large enterprise companies saw it too. And the issue that we're trying to solve is taking this, all this unstructured data and contracts and delivering back to a client more readable information so that they can make smarter, faster, more favorable decisions. So, you know, we would ask some clients sometimes, you know, which of your contracts are expiring in the next six months and how they would answer that question now is literally flip through the contracts, see which ones, what the expiration dates are and, you know, get back to you in weeks or months. And that's where Heretic comes in. Uh, you know, not only are we giving you a jump start on prioritizing review by classifying and segmenting your contracts into the relevant clauses, but we're also working to get you to structure data and we're utilizing regular expressions to auto extract information from contracts. We've developed our own state of the art viewer. And what we've seen is, you know, clients that are using it the first time as Andy was talking about the length of review to do one contract. It could be an hour or two and let's say it's 60 minutes, what we've seen the first time clients are using Heretic is that's being reduced on each contract to about 20 minutes. And uh, how did you, uh, where does the AI come in? So how are you using AI to solve some of these uh, big problems that are facing the legal industry? Yeah, so initially um, we weren't quite sure of scale. We knew kind of um, looking at contracts and the complexity there, it wasn't um, easy to just read them in general. And so once you start diving in and realize that, okay, going through one contract is tedious, um, it might take, you know, hours for uh, a lawyer or even, you know, uh, just a, you know, individual to, to review it. But when you're talking about thousands of them or even tens or hundreds of thousands of contracts, it's nearly impossible for um, humans to do unless, I mean, you can ramp up um, and Chris has some experience kind of ramping up large teams to kind of go through these and tackle these problems, but um, it's still very efficient. Uh, and so that's why we had to kind of really approach this from a, a technical st standpoint and see if there was uh, AI or machine learning uh, techniques that could really cut down the, the time to, to, to break these contracts up and start to extract the information we were looking for and our customers as well. And as Andy's talking about the, the size of these teams, you know, in the digital age, this started, contract review started with PDFs and Excels and then moved into a document review platform, uh, notably Relativity, where you can manage the workflow a lot better and improve accuracy. Uh, but still, you would have these teams that could be uh, 50, 60, into the hundreds uh, reviewing these contracts. And the issue becomes when you have these large teams, uh, the quality of the deliverable that you're handing over to the client. So we knew from the, from the start that we really had to build a more effective and efficient uh, document viewer than what existed on the market today. We could use a lot of um, AI and machine learning to structure and extract the information from these documents and then leveraging kind of that, that structured data, then we could present it in a way to the end user so that they can more, um, you know, do more streamlined uh, review workflows. And so it really cuts down on a lot of the tedious tasks that they previous, previously had to, to deal with. Uh, and then as you guys were, you know, ramping up and, and getting those customers in, uh, what, what surprised you most about the, uh, the process and just how it was adopted in the, uh, in the industry? 
Yeah, so um, we knew that, and, and from kind of previous experience prior to Heretic, we knew that a lot of people look at AI as this magic button that you could just you know throw it at a, a problem and the solution comes, comes out of it. Um, the reality is it never works that way. And um, we were very surprised of how um, a lot of our customers and a lot of just industry people um, in the legal space were expecting uh, 100%. And so if we're only having to really review 20% of these documents out of the original batch, um, because AI wasn't able to, to really um, uh, to extract or, or, or find that the, the problems in, in those documents because of their complexity or nuances, whatever. So I'm not having to spend, you know, all this time and effort on 70% of my documents. I only have to really focus on that 30 or 20%. So um, it was just, it was really surprising kind of like um, how I think people viewed um, AI and really didn't truly understand kind of, you shouldn't look at it as it's either all or nothing um, and more look at it as another tool in, in really your toolbox. So uh, maybe you guys can tell us a little bit about some of the initial efficiencies and, and just the results that some of your clients are seeing by using Heretic. The initial thing that we're doing is classifying and segmenting these contracts. And you can run our Heretic analysis on thousands of agreements in a matter of hours. And you're into those documents right away. And a, a big advantage here is the ability to prioritize a review. So I know when I was running these projects before, a lot of clients would say, I want to uh, start with leases or employment agreements. And I only want to look at the assignment or change of control provision because we're going through a transaction and I want to know if I need to get out a consent or notice letter. And so the, the second part that we're noticing also is getting to that structured data. And we've noticed that our clients, you know, reviewing these contracts before Heretic, it could take them 60 minutes, whereas now it's taking about 20 minutes. So we're seeing a reduction right away uh, of about two thirds of the review time. And that's on the first use of Heretic and only seeing it increase after that. Uh, so I'm gonna uh, kind of shoot this question to both of you guys. Uh, where does AI in the legal industry go from here, do you think? What we're noticing is more and more clients realizing that the easy button doesn't exist to get to the structured data. And you know, since I started at Heretic in uh, January of last year, what I've really noticed an emphasis here on is the ability to auto extract information from contracts. Uh, you know, what we were talking about early on is that it can take a while to review these contracts and capture 50, 60, 100 different data points. Uh, and you're not just looking for that verbatim language in a contract, but you're looking inside to see, you know, can I assign an agreement, yes or no? Do I need to get consent or give notice? And all those different data points can take time to capture. And so we're seeing, you know, if it takes an hour to do that, the ability for us to be able to auto extract information uh, is, you know, cutting that down considerably to with the first time you're using uh, Heretic, you can cut that down to 20 minutes. Uh, and that's where we see a big jump in where it's moving now is the ability to get to that structured data in a more efficient manner. Yeah, I think we're also enabling a lot of uh, users that were not, one, didn't have access to this information or, or kind of really just didn't feel comfortable trying to identify um, and, 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 ex and gather all the data that they could out of a, an agreement. So, you know, if you really think about the last time you dealt with a, a, a contract is it's probably during execution, you, you signed it and then you filed it away. And then you really never see that again, unless there's some kind of event, um, whether you're, you know, being litigated against or, or maybe there's a transaction that occurs and you have to review that. But now I think with AI, you're starting to see a lot of that information that's typically uh, stored and forgotten about bubble up to the, the, um, the, the core business. And so you can extract that information, bring it into your other systems and start to take action on that. Um, and that I think is going to enable a lot of everyday business users to be more effective at their job um, because they have access to this information where they otherwise wouldn't. You guys can uh, just, just talk for a minute. Uh, just tell us a little bit about some of the areas where you think AI really won't be able to be applied in the, in the legal industry in the near future. Yeah, I think, I think everyone, um, when they really, especially non-technical data science people, when they really talk about or hear AI, they kind of have that like scared feeling that, you know, this machine is going to take my job. Um, and in legal, 
I don't think that's really going to happen. I think you need to really view it as this um, AI machine learning as a, uh, a tool to make you more effective at your job. Um, it, it allows you to kind of remove a lot of that tedious work that you're having to spend significant amount of your day on dealing with. You know, if I'm having to review these large agreements and, you know, manually open them, manually scroll through them and read all this language to find the, the, the phrase or the term that I'm looking for. And if I have to do that over and over and over again, it takes, you know, a good part of my day. But if I have a system that can actually extract that information for me, then I can just focus on making that decision, whether that term or clause is actually right or wrong. Um, and it allows, you know, lawyers to really be effective at their, their profession as opposed to kind of just doing tedious, monotonous work over and over again. And I think that's kind of like where we see um, AI going to, um, but the risk there of kind of these lawyers losing their jobs uh, because of it, I don't think is, is really on the horizon. I think it will be a, a while, if ever, that will occur. Yeah, definitely the, the message is not looking to replace lawyers. It's just being able to arm them with this information in a more efficient manner. So as Andy was describing, not spending their time on these tasks that can be done a lot quicker with AI, but then giving them that information so that they can go make you know, smarter decisions. Uh, well, Andy, Chris, thank you guys so much uh, for joining us for this, uh, the first of our uh, Puzzle Solver series. It was great talking to you guys and just hearing more about the heretic story uh, and the ways that you guys are disrupting the legal industry. So uh, keep at it and um, you know, thank you guys very much. No, thanks for having us. We enjoyed it. And our pleasure. Yep. Thank you very much.